Hank! Hank! Let me in! Doors open. It's madness. Fucking madness out there. What the, what the hell are you talking about? About The end of the world! I uh, sure. Hey, hey, can you grab a beer from the fridge? You really don't know yet? Know what? Are you kidding me? You didn't notice all the gunshots and screaming? Oh, I figured all the animals are just celebrating something. J just turn on the fucking news, dude. All right, geez, fine. I'll turn on the fucking news. Coming at you live from Beaver Street. It's complete and utter chaos here. Animals are going mad, biting each other. Will anyone tell us what's going on? It's kind of exciting. Are you insane? The real zombie apocalypse is happening right now. All right. What are we going to do, Hank? Well, we're not going out there, that's for sure. You brought some coke, right? Oh, man. Why am I even talking to you? But, yeah, I brought some white. All right, let's get this end of the world party started. Let me just call everybody. Ah, son of a bitch. No signal. All right, scrap that plan. Let's do some productive. I have an idea. Okay. We'll go through my whole zombie-related Blu-ray collection. To, pre to prepare for the apocalypse? Yeah, sure. Now you're talking some sense. But wait. What? Shouldn't we stock up on supplies? Relax, I'm prepared for this situation. I got a year's worth of food and drink up in this place. Now, pick one of these. Austin Powers. Not many zombies in this one, but we'll build towards the zombie movies. Yeah, we don't want to overwork ourselves and get burnt out. Exactly. But wait, you got your best herb with you? Of course. That's the proper way to watch Austin Powers. Groovy. Roll him up. Ah, son of a bitch. You lost power? Don't worry, this happens sometimes. I'm sure they'll fix it in no time. Who is going to fix it? Oh, yeah. It's the zombie apocalypse. Ah, fucking cabbage. Larry, wake up. I'm awake. Come here. Another runner. Oh, shit. Hold on. That is one groovy motherfucker. Where? There, in the park. The horse? Yes! He's already dodged a dozen zombies. Whoa, nice! Oh, look at him run! He's looking like Tom Cruise out there! In which movie? I don't know. In every movie. True. That pony never stops. He's not a pony, he's a horse. That's what they want you to believe. Oh, whatever. Look! He dodged another one! This might be the first animal this week to survive the park run through. Care to make it interesting? I bet you two lines of coke. He'll die. You got it. Come on, you can do this, horse. Oh, watch out for the corner, zombie. The corner, you idiot. Yup, that's the end of him. They always ignore the corners. So, where's my coke? I'm glad you brought that up, actually. They're out of coke, and food, and toilet paper. Son of a bitch. Well, you'll just have to drop down to the store and pick up some supplies. What? Why me? Because we ate my food for four months. It, hell no, I'm too small. And what, I'm big? You're a rabbit, you can hop right out of trouble. I'm 63 years old, I don't hop anymore. I'm 28. That's plenty for my lifestyle. Oh, great argument. Well, this is just peachy. You know what? I'll help you out. Do we still have your walkie-talkies in my van? Yeah, those were impossible to sell. I'll get in the van, it's parked right outside, and I'll guide you using its roof binoculars in a walkie-talkie. Finally putting that pervy upgrade on your van to good use, huh? Hey, you used it more than I did. I was just checking the binoculars' zoom capacity. Yeah, each time you're in the van. All right, whatever. Let's just do this stupid thing.
Hank, do you see me? Yes, I see you. Feeling comfortable back there? Can't complain. I really miss the old mating machine. I had some good times in this thing. Thank God the street riots didn't destroy her. All right, all right. I'm getting a bit uneasy here. Look at all this blood. Does it look safe to go in? As far as I can tell. You can't tell? Will you just go in? Ugh, oh, I'm regretting this already. Oh, the door's locked. What are you talking about? It's broken. Do you want this broken glass to skin me alive while I squeeze through it? Just be careful. Nah, I have my lockpicking tools with me. You know, it's not the best time for showing off. No, I'm not... Oh, just shut up. There. Okay, okay, I'm very impressed. You lockpicked a wide open, broken door. Now will you go inside? I'm in. Ah, shit. What is it? You just had to pick a store that's already gutted. Well, there's gotta be something in there. Well, let me look around a bit. There are a few boxes of cigarettes. And, uh, well, I guess that's it. That's it? Wait, there's another door. Sniff it out. Oh, dude, I don't know. Can you see if it's clear? I can't really see in the other room. What? The window in that room is covered with something. Well, this is just great. Alright, alright, just go in. I can't believe this. Is it all clear? You should be the one answering that question. Will you just get over it? Well, it's dark as shit in here. I can barely see anything. H hello? Any zombies in here? Well, if they can talk back, then we're truly screwed. So, there's a fridge near the door, and I think I see a window with a blanket over it. Yes, I can see that window. Go take the blanket down. There could be more things to loot in there. Oh, dude, I don't know. What if there's something in the dark? Don't be a wuss. Just remove the blanket. Fuck off. Look, don't you think that if there were a zombie inside, it would have already attacked you? I don't know. Okay, fine. I'll risk my whole life to remove a stupid blanket. I think I see you. Is everything okay? Larry? Uh, yeah, yeah. Stop messing around. What if, what if I remove it and something jumps me? Oh, just remove it already. Okay, 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 I'm removing it. Ah! What's going on? Um, nothing. All good, actually. You're a little touched in the head, you know. Oh, fuck off. I'd love to see how you'd handle this. Alright, is there anything else to loot? Um, yeah. I, I see some snacks. That's it. I'm going back to the fridge. Ah, crap. It's chained shut with a lock. Now's the time to show off your lockpicking skills. No way. It's one of those, like, tiny, weird locks. Ugh, and find something to break it with. Oh, I see a pipe lying here. I'll try using that as a lever. Uh, come on! Ugh. No way! It's too strong. Oh boy. What? Alright, Larry? You're not going to like this. What? What's going on? 
There's a zombie headed straight towards the building. What? Are you serious? Yup. Just got inside. Oh, fuck. I, I can hear it. What do I do? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, this is all your fault! You and your stupid food! Okay, I'll tell you what. What? Try breaking the bars on the window. Okay, that's smart. Come on! Fuck! Oh, there's no way I can remove these. Break them with the pipe. Okay. I'm trying. Hurry up! Oh, shit! He's headed towards you. Just do it already. I can't! Fuck! Stop! Ouch! Stop it! Put it down! Larry, stop! Give me that! Ouch! Ah! Oh, he bit me! Hank, I'm done! What the fuck are you doing, you stupid idiot? You're not a zombie? Do I look like a zombie? Absolutely! You knocked my whiskey to the ground! You're lucky it didn't shatter, <clears throat> asshole! What the fuck is wrong with you, Parrot? Do you hear yourself? Hold that! That's my guide. He's the one who said you're a zombie. You have a hell of a guide, mutt! You sound and look like one. Why? Because I'm green? Because you're wasted. Who makes sounds like that? I make sounds... <clears throat> like I want to make, bitch. Ugh. So what are you doing in here anyway? Scavenging. I was failing to open this stupid refrigerator when you stumbled in. Hmm, looks like there could be some booze in there. I'll tell you what, I'll open it for you. But we share whatever is inside. Fitty fitty. Fifty fifty? I found it first. Ugh. It's my fridge. But you can't even open it. And you can? Yes, I can. Like hell you can. If by some wonder you manage to break the chain, I'll let you have... half of what's inside. Okay. There. What? You had a key? Where did you find a key? It was lying right here on the floor. Well done, Larry. How was I supposed to spot a tiny key in this huge mess? Well, the drunk zombie parrot spotted it. Hey, your mother's a zombie. Yeah, it's possible. You know what? I said I'd give you a share of the loot only if you broke the chain. You cheated. Listen, puppy. I did my part, so you better stick to yours. This is bullshit. Don't make me use this pipe again. Whatever. Here. Choose your goods. Cheating me out of my loot. I should have taken more. You injured my wing with your stupid damn pipe. Oh, you're fine. Hey, there's a huge truck headed your way. Oh, that can't be good. Hey, hey, zombie Carl. What are you doing on this side of the city? Aha! They think you look like a zombie too. No, they call me zombie because I'm cool like one. Or because I'm a zombie killer. Wait, why do you guys call me that? Oh, uh, what's the difference? <laughs> so, who's this canine with you? Glad you asked. This boy is trying to stuff me. Not to mention, he tried to murder me just a minute ago. Is that right? What you have on you, boy? Huh? Oh, come on, dude. I, I really need this stuff. You need it more than our good friend Carl here? So, 
You're just gonna steal from him. No, it's not like that. It's just... Larry, let me speak to him. What the? Hello? There's been some sort of misunderstanding here. It's really not any of your business, but... Who's this jerk? That's the guy who told the doggy to beat me up! All right, that's it. Hand over all your loot. The parrot is blowing this way out of proportion. Either you give us all your loot, right now, or we'll break your bones and take it ourselves. Psst, Larry, listen. Why are you whispering? Just make a run for it. What? Are you insane? What is going on? Uh, nothing, nothing. Stupid walkie-talkie is breaking down. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. They'll catch me. I haven't walked for four months. How the fuck am I gonna run? They're bulls. They're big and slow. Just run into some building and hide. What else can you do? Just stay here like a pussy and let them rob you? Piss off, Hank. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? I don't know. All right, fuck it, I'll do it. Yes, do it. Hey, he's running away. Nice try, puppy. Why, Larry, I can't believe you. Running away is never the answer. It, 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 it was your fucking idea. It's all his fault. Please don't kill me. Okay, how about this? Take 40% of his loot and we're good. No hot feelings. There won't be any beef between us, I promise. Did he just say beef? No beef between us? Oh man, I know he did not just say that. Uh, I didn't realize that I was... Uh, never mind that. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. You just earned your friend here a hell of a beating, funny guy. Barney, just a second. This is me, it's gonna be me. Come on, I got fucking scoop with the damn dog gun. Get that, let's get this from him. Come on, you have no idea what I'm doing. It's gonna be burgers, man. This is bullshit. What's going on? Yeah, I, I really didn't mean anything by it. Are you out of your mind, idiot? You're gonna get me killed. What are they talking about? How should I know? Okay, the percentage you proposed is fine. Just hand it over. Really? Yes. Hurry up. Okay, here you go. There. Now get lost, filthy mutt, and tell your friend that the zombie apocalypse is no excuse for hate speech. Uh, okay. Will do. Hank! Where are you? Hank! Hold on. I'm here. Whoa! <laughs> Boy, did he smack you good. Yes, I know I was there. That couldn't have gone any worse. You'll do better tomorrow. Fuck no, it was hardly even worth it. Yeah, tell me about it. I should have been better at negotiating with those bulls. I'm a professional world-class salesman for cabbage sake. You were a professional salesman 20 years ago. Yeah, I still am. Oh, like hell you are. You almost got me killed out there. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, I found this. What is that? It's my old sales notebook. 
I used to write all my greatest tactics down in this thing. It's bursting with powerful principles for manipulating people. This is what made me a millionaire, Larry. Are you gonna go back to selling life insurance now? It's a shame what old age does to animals. No, I'm gonna... What the hell? These motherfuckers followed you? Is this your racist friend? I, I don't know. You don't know? No? What the fuck do you want? Shame on you, rabbit. In this day and age, we'll have to wash this tiny animal's mouth out with soap. You know who disagrees about the tiny pot? Your mother. Hank, will you stop it? Anyway, Barney, let's see what we got here. Food, medicine, appliances. Check this out. You found something? Yeah, this stove fits the bill. Oh, are you two running a soup kitchen or something? We're teaching you racist bastards a lesson today. We're taking everything you have. Bro, will you come help me with this? Sure. Hey, check this out, Larry. Looks like a list of items they're collecting. For some... scavenging guild community. Really? Give me that! Wait! It also has a map for good scavenging spots. Hey! Put that down! Enjoy my stove, you stupid... Uh, um... Asses! Oh, good one. Hurry up! To my van! Ouch! You dropped the stove on my foot, bro! Oh, sorry. Come on! Bastards stole the map! Oh man, now we've fucking done it! We? No, you've done it! You brought the freaking cattle to my place! This! This is exactly why they came! Because of your racist statements! It was an accident! Oh man, we're fucked, I'll tell you that. I, I mean, you saw that horse this morning. You know, he, he was big, fast, and athletic, and he still died. I'm gonna miss watching the park run-throughs. Now we're in a park run-through, you idiot! No, we're in a van. Ugh, we're so dead. Look! A fucking rat zombie! Two of them! What's the difference between a rat and a zombie rat? How can you not take this seriously? Chill, we're in a van, we're fine. Speaking of fine places... Look at this. Hey, don't read and drive. Relax, Larry. There's no traffic anymore. Of course there is. We're the traffic. Whatever. You just keep an eye on the road, then. But listen to this. There's an ad for a scavenging guild on the back of the bull's map. It says they have rooms, electricity, and running water. Wow. Well, wait. But the bulls live there. So what? It has a very inviting message. Maybe they'll let us join. I doubt the bulls are the ones running the place. Well, it beats living in a rat zombie infested town. They have points next to each item. Looks like this is how you pay for your stay. Oh, with items you bring? Yeah. So that's what the bulls were doing. Does it say where the guild is? Hmm, no. Looks like that part's missing. Of course. It must be somewhere in this town. We'll find it, but we should scavenge a few items so they'll let us in. I'm done with that, but we need to bring at least something. Whatever. We don't even know where it is. Is that a g- All those little guys can make it out here. That is reassuring. Although I'm sure this is one tough guinea pig, surviving on his own. And look at us. What are we good for? That's... not a bad question. What are we good for? Larry, I've got an idea. We may not be strong like those bulls, 
or motivated by addiction like that parrot. But we do have all these walkie-talkies in the back. We can exchange them. For drugs that'll make us strong and motivated? No. Not the worst idea, but no. The thing I had in mind is, what if we get that guinea pig to do the scavenger for us? Well, why in Spot's name would he want to do that? Because I'll convince him. That's what I'm good for. Ah, oh, jeez. Why are you pulling over? You're actually gonna ask this random animal to scavenge for us? Sir, hello! You're not serious. Greetings, travelers. I'm Hank, and this is Larry. I'm Elliot. How's the apocalypse treating you? I must admit, it hasn't been easy. It's really not safe anywhere anymore. But, you know, I'm getting used to it. I'm lucky to have met a few really good animals. And found enough resources to get by. You know what? We have a proposition for you. We know about... A valuable place for scavenging. And we can show it to you. Oh, thanks? Well, here is the proposition. You go in and scavenge the place while we are your safety lookouts. You would take this walkie-talkie, and we'll watch you with binoculars and guide you to safety. So you want to show me this place and help me scavenge it? This is really kind, but why would you do that? Because we'll both benefit. After you come back, we would keep... Fifty percent of the loot. You want me to give you half of the loot? I... I don't know. Let me take the weekend to think it over. Okay, listen. How about if we keep... Forty percent of the loot? No, I'm sorry. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I, I really think I should be going now. Okay, okay. This is our final offer. We keep only... Thirty percent of the loot. I think I have to go, guys. Okay, how much do you want us to keep? Not to be rude or anything, but since I'm going to be the one doing the dangerous job, I think I should keep 90% of the loot. What? Are you crazy? Oh, never mind then, guys. Okay, okay, we'll do it your way. You keep 90%, but only because we like you. Alright, why not? Making new friendships is very important these days. Totally. And this should be fun. I've never thought of scavenging on a team this way. This is the only safe way to scavenge nowadays. Oh, but wait. Have you ever done this kind of thing before? Uh, yeah. We've been doing this... for almost a whole week. At least I'm not your first experiment. <laughs> nah, we wouldn't use you as a guinea pig. Oh, cabbage, I did it again. Oh, for fuck's sake, Hank. Th that's such a terrible stereotype. Those were extremely hard times for guinea pigs. It's it's okay, really. I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, of course I didn't. So, where is this great scavenging place? Dude, I can't believe this actually worked. So where are we taking him? Let's choose one of the places on the map. The bulls have them marked as potentially good places for scavenging. Okay, dude, climb aboard. Oh, dear. What happened to your eye? Just ran into some door. Oh, okay. Alright, time to go. Here we are. Pharmacy, huh? Yep, let's get started. All right, I'm ready. Here I am. We see you. Door's locked. Okay, just use the lock picking tools I've given you. I'm not really sure how to use these. No worries, I'll guide you.
There you go. Wow, that was one curious lockpicking tool. It works, that's what matters. I got some cough syrup. Good. And a few first aid kits. Oh, those are worth a lot in the Scavengers Guild. Do you mean the Scavengers Guild west of here? Uh, yes, I think so. I hear that place is outstanding. They got security, running water, sometimes even electricity. You know where it is? No, I don't. I live with my family and a few friends. Not like the Guilders would let us join. <laughs> Why not? Well, they're very selective. Aw, oh, cabbage. How selective? Oh, tremendously. I've heard from a few members they accept only the best of the best. And there goes that plan. Hold your horses, Larry. Who says we're not the best of the best? Ha ha ha. Oh, here's a roll of gauze. Well, that's all she wrote. Really? Actually, there's a basement door. Good, go down there. Most of the items are probably stored there. Are you sure it's safe? I can't see a thing from up here. There's no safer place than a basement. And during tornadoes, perhaps. But all right. You're the expert here. It's complete darkness down here. Just leave the door open. Oh, wow. You're right. There's a lot of loot down here. Ruby! Hmm, wait. What's this? What? Is everything okay? Oh, oh dear! <laughs> Zombie! A zombie? Yes, yes! It almost bit me! I narrowly escaped! Alright, we, we can see you. Are uh, you blocking the hatch door? Don't, don't let the zombie get through. I'm certainly trying to block it. I hope my weight is enough. Oh, shit! Is there anything you can put on the door to keep it closed? Besides your body? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Do you see anything that could help? Um... No. Oh, if only my s sweet wife were here to help, and not at home with the kids. Oh, man. Okay, okay. You see what you've done? Sending a poor animal to his death, and he has a family. Oh, would you prefer it be you? Uh, not exactly, but what the hell are we going to do? I don't know. We should have been more careful on our first run. It's a learning process, Larry. Hey, d did you say your first run? Larry, you dumbass, the walkie-talkie's on. Idiot, you're holding down the button. Oh, right. Well, my bad then. I can't believe this is your first time doing this. You said you'd done this before. Oh, is, is that what we said? Well, more. it's Larry's fault. He always brings his stupid drugs, and now I can't even remember what I was doing yesterday. Yeah! What's going on? Are you okay? Yes! That was just an extreme anger scream! Oh good, I thought it was an I got bit by a zombie scream. Uh, okay, listen, do you think you can make a run for it? It's a coyote zombie! I barely escaped the basement! Freaking coyote? Yes! Well, shit. Okay, listen. You're gonna have to make a run for it. D do you mean that, Hank? It's a zombie. It's not as fast as a live coyote. Are you sure? If anything, I, I think it's faster. Yeah, I'm positive. Make a run for it. Just run as fast as you can. Okay, I'll do as you say. I'm beginning to fear this wasn't worth the risk. Come on, you can do it. Ah! Oh, it got me! Yeah! Well... 
It looks like being a zombie doesn't affect their speed. Looks like. The important thing is that we learned a lesson, and we have to move on now. On one hand, we did just kill an animal. Who had a family depending on him. Right. But on the other, we do need to move on. Yeah. Let's just go before the coyote notices us. Where next? Hmm, let's see. You think we'll find some animals in that camp? That's what the map says. It's some sort of gathering place. I'll we'll see if we can find our next scavenger there. Are, are you serious? No way! You just killed an animal! We're not doing this stupid shit anymore! Scavenger guidance a dirty business, Larry. Things happen. It's not always gonna go according to plan. This is not a real business! You just made it up! So what? I'm not allowed to start up new, original businesses? Sometimes I think you're completely psychotic, dude. Hey, would you prefer that you died in that pharmacy? I guess not. Well, there you go. We've gotta survive somehow. Alright. But we need to be more careful next time. Lives are at stake here. Before we arrive, let's review a lesson from my notebook. Alright, let's see what you got in there. This is what's going to truly make us successful. I've actually read a few books on influence. I'm curious if you know what you're talking about. So what? You're gonna judge my real-life experience with your book knowledge? How do you think these books were written? From fictional experiences? I don't know. Anyhow, let's start with the one I like to call phrasing matters. Oh yeah, I remember this. Back when I was a life insurance salesman, I used to tell people, when you pass away, your family will get the money. But then I changed my words to, when you walk out, money walks in. And I doubled the sales. It's extremely important how you phrase things to animals. Hmm, this seems pretty basic. Of course it seems basic. Every truth seems basic and simple. I think you're just saying this to make it look better. Well, think about it. Tell me one truth that's complicated. String theory. That's not a truth, that's the newest science bullshit. You're bullshit. You're impossible to talk to. Whatever. Let's get back to the lesson. Okay, so how do we use this phrasing in our case? Uh, what words do we use a lot? Hmm... Killed... Attacked... Scavenge? Yes, we use that one a lot. Uh, instead, let's use... Uh... Hmm... Gathering resources. Sounds good. Uh, of course, we only want to use this one if we want to soften the level of danger in a prospect's mind. If we want to intimidate him, we'll use the scariest version available. I agree. So, what else do we use a bunch? Zombie! Yes! Let's see. Hmm... Walkers? Nah, Walking Dead's worn out that one. Lurkers? Walking Dead. Right. And that one sounds even scarier than Zombie. So it should be good for intimidating. Yes, but we need something that takes away that power. That makes our prospect less scared, and easier to convince the scavenge for us. Like... Bastards? That's dumb. Dumbasses? Hmm... How about weirdos? Hmm... That could work. I mean, they are weird. Making weird sounds and movements. Well, then let's think some more. Nah, there's the camp. We of those will do. Wow, look! There are a few animals here after all. Good. Let's talk to our new prospects. Seems pretty cozy. Let's see if somebody's up for some scavenging. And if they know anything about the guild.
Hello, ma'am. What do you want? Just the conversation. How was the zombie apocalypse treating you? Oh, just awesome. My husband was the first to go. And then my little Joey hopped away in the middle of the woods and I haven't seen him since. And then... That's terrible. You don't know the half of it. Well, if your kid's missing, then what's in your pouch? Hank, that's a little forward. It's fine. If I can survive my husband being devoured, I can survive a little rudeness. Anyhow, I'm sure your supplies won't last forever. How do you feel about some... Resource collecting. What are you talking about? We can show you an awesome place and guide you while you pick up some items. Your black eye friend looks like he could use some guiding. Me? Nah. This little thing is from a friendly bar fight. I'm sure. There are so many bars around. Anyhow, I need to stick around the camp in case my Joey shows up. All right, but let me just tell you that... Stop trying to sell me your scam, rabbit. Okay, okay. Then how about... A friendly item exchange. Sure, let me see what you got. That seems fair. Yep. See you around. Lovely day, isn't it, sweetheart? Excuse me? It's a lovely day? Yeah, it's just great. I love the landscape sprinkled with corpses. As long as they're not walking. Right. Can I help you, Rabbit? We're looking for a strong, healthy individual to assist us with... ...gathering resources. What kind of resources? Useful ones. Uh-huh. And what kind of assistance were you talking about? We'll bring and guide you through... A resource collecting place, and we'll keep you safe from weirdos. Who? You know, weirdos. What weirdos? The crazy biting animals. You mean zombies? Some might call them that, but nowadays, they're usually called weirdos. You two are weirdos. I told you we should keep thinking about the name. Nah, weirdos is good. It'll stick eventually. And then when you come back, we'll split the loot. Nah, I don't think so. Why not? Look, I'm trying to join the Scavengers Guild. Maybe you've heard of them? I'm not wasting my time and risking my life with you two losers. That's awesome. We're also hoping to... Just a second, Larry. <laughs> uh, what he's saying is that... We're trying to become members. Good luck. Listen, this is what they do at the guild. Well, they don't scavenge by themselves like idiots. They cooperate. Really? Yes, and we've been doing this for some time now. We're getting really good. 
Hmm, then I guess this might be a useful experience. Of course. Plus, you have nothing to lose. We'll keep you safe from weirdos. Hmm, okay. I am considering this little venture of yours. Then you should consider that... You'll just fly through that place. In and out in no time. Yeah? Hmm, that sounds good. I really don't want to get stuck in some hellish building surrounded by zombies. Not a chance of that scenario happening. Okay, I'll do it. But I want to keep 70% of the loot. Ooh, uh, 70%? Take it or leave it, Gramps. You know how dangerous it is out there? Don't you try scaring me. We'll do it my way or we won't do it at all. I'm fine. You can keep 70%. Okay, let's do this thing. By the way, I'm Hank and this is Larry. Okay, I'm Krista. Let's go. So, where are we going? Here we are. Toilets are us. Are you guys messing with me? Nope, that's it. Fucking bulls marked it as essential supplies. Who? Never mind. Surely there are plenty of useful resources here. At least good for trading. There better be. Let's start. Here I go. Ugh, door's locked. You remember how to use the lockpicking kit? Vaguely. I'll help you out. Done. Hmm, let's see. Alright, these are actually useful. And a little something of the previous items fail. And some more. And some more. And more. This is too easy. I know! I mean, do you really think she'll give us our percentage of the loot? Why wouldn't she? We're not doing anything for her. What would keep her from dodging us on the way out? We drove her here. Yeah, big deal. We showed her a toilet goods store. So what are you suggesting? Let's say she avoids a zombie because of our help. Then she would feel like we were valuable, and won't just walk away with all the loot. Where do we get a zombie? From our wild imagination. We fake a zombie? Yeah, something like that. Not bad, Larry. I can see you finally learning something from me. Hey, don't take away my credit like that. Jeez, chill. Uh, Krista, we got a bit of a situation. Yeah, what is it? You killed zombies before? Not yet. Well then, you better hide and get real quiet. You see a zombie? Get away from the window! Alright, so what is it? A zombie? Yes, one headed your way. I closed the door. Trust me, closed doors are not much of an obstacle once they see you. I did not sign up for this. You've gotta hide. Okay. Good, just stay there. All right. Is it gone? No, still wandering around. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think it's gone now. You sure? Yep. Good. I'm not quite ready to be a zombie's dinner. Well, it's noon, but yeah. <sighs> Anything else for looting? Yeah, one more shelf. Oh, wait! Dudes, there's another aisle around the corner that I completely missed. There's toilet paper! Head over there! Kinda seems out of your line of sight, though. After that last zombie scare, I don't really want to be where you can't see me.
will listen for zombie-like sounds. Haha. <laughs> no, really. These are high-tech army walkie-talkies. If we increase the volume, we can detect anything. What if it's not making any sounds right now? I'm positive it would have made some sounds by now. You've been in the store long enough. I guess. All right, fine. So, I can grab you guys a few one-ply. Are the ones with the bears okay? One-ply? Is that really as good as you can do? Jeez, you must really pamper your ass. Let me go further down the aisle. Ah! Zombie! Zombie? I think it's, it's half a zombie. A zebra with no legs. Oh, it's still moving, though. Krista, are you making this up? What is wrong with you? What kind of deranged animals would make up a zombie? Only very sick ones. Uh, but listen, there can't be a zombie without legs. It'd die, unless it just lost its legs like a moment ago, and didn't have time to bleed out yet. Who cares? I'm telling you, it's a fucking zebra with no legs. Well, so what? Are we supposed to abandon all known science, logic, and reason? Because it's the freaking zombie apocalypse? Jeez. Okay, let me analyze the fucking thing. I think... I think it's just a handicapped zombie. Oh, you mean it was handicapped before it became a zombie? Yes, probably. Can we move on? Well, that I can buy. Ugh. Okay, Krista. If it doesn't have any legs, then it can't get to you. You don't even need to go near it. Well, it's near the two-ply toilet paper. Damn it! You'll have to go around it. I'm not sure it's worth it. Trust me, it is. And it has no legs for Cabbage's sake. A no-leg zombie is nothing for a goat like you. I don't know. You know what? Here's the deal. Increase my loot share by 10% and I'll do it. What? Okay, but only 5%. There is no way I'm doing it for only 5% more. Come on, Krista. We already saved you from danger once. You can trust us. Ugh, <sighs> whatever. It's a deal. All right. What's going on? I'm risking my life for additional ply. That's what's going on. Barely a risk. Here it is. There you go, you've made it. I'm coming back. Okay. You did great. Here's your part of the loot. Groovy. Oh, I really hope I can exchange some of this stuff at the camp. Sure you can. See you around. Bye. There's nothing else left around here according to the map. We should hit the road and get to the other side of town. Sure, let's go. I guess we found our niche in the zombie apocalypse. Well, to be frank, this is my niche. You're more of a sidekick. What? I am an essential part of this scheme. And you know, I'm a salesman too. Yeah, you're a failed drug dealer. You're a failed drug user. Plus, I sold merch too. 
And whose walkie-talkies are we using to run this little operation? All right, all right. You're very important. Do you want a treat? Jeez. Anyway, according to this map, there's one more camp and two more scavenging places on the west side of town. This is going to be a long trip, so we have time for another one of my lessons. This one is called Hank's Slip. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Here it goes. If you ask enough questions and let people talk about themselves, they'll subconsciously slip the information on how to sell them whatever you're selling. That's not Hank's Slip, that's a Freudian Slip ripoff. No, this is Hank's Slip, an original. Yeah, I can see now that all your notes are just stolen from others. Instead of overanalyzing, let's see how we can use this. Ugh. The main takeaway here is that we should ask more questions and gather useful information before rushing to close the deal. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Larry. See that up ahead? Is that some kid? Yeah. I bet he can scavenge for us. No. We're not getting some kid to scavenge for us. Why not? What's the matter with you? He's just a kid! So what? We'll be helping him. I don't see it that way. And how do you see it? Well, a kid has to scavenge for food somehow. Well, yeah, but... So why not help him out? I don't know, dude. It's way safer if he has somebody watching his back. Well, I guess... I, you know what? Nah, just leave him there. What, you don't want to help him? I don't know. It, it feels weird. The way I see it, it's a win-win. Especially for the kid. He's probably fatherless and needs some scavenging experience. And with us, it's like scavenging with training wheels. Hmm... Nah, the hell with him. We're just wasting time. Eh, fine. Are we near the west side? Yep, we arrived. Actually, the camp should be really close by. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Bunch of adults hanging out at a playground. Shouldn't be too hard convincing them to scavenge for us, huh? Let's see. Oh, she looks feisty. Oh, that mangy-looking thing? Hey, let's not be racial, Larry. Oh, you're telling me? It's about time we get someone with nine lives to help us out. I wouldn't mind accidentally wasting her a few. Hey, lady. Can I help you, boys? Have you heard about the Scavengers Guild? Yeah, I met a few people from the Guild. Do you know where it is? Nope. What do you think about him? Not much. All they talk about is scavenging, scavenging, and scavenging. So listen, we are professional scavenger guides, and we would like to give you an opportunity to work with us. Scavenge? That's more of a dog business. Why do you have to go out of your way to offend me? I'm standing here, being more than polite. Don't play naive. You've been giving me this dirty dog look this whole time. Well, that's because you've been giving me your insulting cat look. What looks? Are you too crazy? Just get him a leash. He's a menace to society. There is no society, you dumb mouser. How dare you! Ugh. Look, I don't care about any of this. So you won't scavenge? Okay. Do you want to trade? I don't trade, but I do gamble. Interested? Is it a game of dice? Of course, but first, you have to tie that dog to a tree. I don't trust him. I am not taking this anymore. Oh yeah? One black eye's not enough for you, puppy? Just fucking stop it! I'm warning you! Down, doggy. Sit! 
I did. Oh, I hate you. I'm getting out of here. That's it. Walk away. That's all you're good for. All right, but you're the one asking for this. I'd like to see you try. Bring it on! Show me what you got, you filthy mutt! Would you look at that? What? Hello? We have a fight here. Big deal. This is our third today. So what's her deal? I don't know. She likes to fight, I guess. What the hell? You fight dirty. You've got to fight dirty when you fight dirt. Go to hell. You only won because I restrained myself from biting. Fuck this shit. So, you still up for some gambling? Yeah, just tell me the rules first. Sure. We both have three dice. We each throw a dice at the time. Whoever gets a higher sum, wins. But if anyone gets a sum higher than ten, they lose. You can throw or hold the dice. Classic dice game. Are you ready? No, tell me again. Alright. We both have three dice. We each throw a dice at the time. Whoever gets a... You can throw or hold the dice. You ready? Yes. Let's start then. Show me items that you want to wager. No luck this time. Wanna try again? Sure. Show me items that you wanna wager. No luck this time. Wanna try again? Sure. Show me items that you want to wager. No luck this time. Nah. Okay. See you later. I want to try convincing this one. Suit yourself. Hey there, fellow. Power. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. I'm not selling anything. So, what do you want? How would you like to join us in scavenging? What part did you not understand? Uh, sorry, uh, he has ADHD. Can't really focus. How do you feel about trading? Hmm, trading's good. Show me what you got. Good stuff. Very good. See you around. Wait, Hank. What? Are we really going to ask a freaking wombat? Why not? 
I mean, I mean, just look at him. Yeah, I know what you mean. But what's the harm? Let's just talk with him. Ah, uh, all right. Hey there, little guy. How was... You wanna be friends? How about becoming scavenging friends? You see, we have this deal that we offer to only some... I'll do it! Wait, what? I'll do it! Let's go scavenging! Okay, but first, here's how it works. You're the one who actually does the scavenging. And we are... All right. And we are your lookouts. I'm in. Um, okay. Awesome. And we'll let you keep... Twenty percent of the loot? I get to keep all that? Yeah, sure. Whoa! Sign me up! Welcome aboard. Hank, just a moment. What the actual fuck is going on here? I've just made a sweet deal. Nothing about this seems off to you? Relax, it's all under control. Okay, buddy, let's go. Wumba Bumba Wombat. What? What? Uh, dude, he's a wombat. Wumba Bomb, whatever. That's what they yell when they're happy. Let's go. Where to? There's only one nearby place. A bookstore. I can go inside? Yup. Oh boy, look at all these books. I hope they have lots of pictures. You like art? Yes, yes. Art pictures. Just leave them be, Larry. It won't be. Start looting. Looting! Yay! Here are more. Are there any medicine books? Those are worth the most in the guild. I don't know. Well, what books did you pick up? Um... No pictures on these. Picture... pictures? Wait, you mean you can't read? Will you stop it, Larry? Wamba Bumba Wombat. Again with that? I, what the fuck does that mean? What's the matter with you, Larry? How are you just ignoring all this? Who cares? We all have our personality quirks. Friends, I heard something. What? Somebody is inside this locker. Somebody probably locked themselves in there before turning into a... Weirdo. I'll let him out. No, 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 no. Weirdo means a bad animal. The, the ones that bite and look ugly. But what if he's my friend? No, Wombi, just leave it there. Friend, are you a weirdo? Uh, would you give us a second, Wombat? Wait, Hank. Is he... Is he retarded? Whoa, whoa, that's a harsh word. I, and you knew about this? What? No, of, of course not. Are you fucking kidding me? We're using a mentally disabled animal to scavenge for us. Really weird thing is how you didn't notice. Hey, don't change the subject here, you fucking psycho. Like, this is a lot about you. Hank, we have a, ri a challenged animal in there that is about to release a zombie so they can become friends. Maybe it's not a zombie. Well, actually, that could be true. No, I'm just kidding. Of course it's a zombie. What kind of animal would lock itself in the closet for no reason? Hey, give me the binoculars. Yes. Uh, I think this locker can't be locked from the inside. So? So somebody locked this animal in the locker. Because it was about to turn into a zombie. Uh, just listen to the sounds it's making. Look, we already confused a drunk parrot for a zombie. Maybe its mouth is taped shut. Hank, if we leave it here, we might be condemning an animal to its death. And if we open it, we might be condemning a wombat to his death. Not if we're careful. Wombi, listen. You have the lockpicking tool I gave you. I'll guide you into unlocking the locker, and then just run away before anything gets out. Yes. No, 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 it's too dangerous. 
fine. Let's leave a poor animal to die in there. But I don't want to leave my friend to die. We can't risk it. He's not a friend. We are friends. And you should always trust your friends. My friend. Come on, Wombie. You know you can trust me. Okay. Pick up some more books. Okay. More? Yes. Take as many as you can carry. Look, the truck! The bull's truck? I think so. Listen, Wombat, you can't tell the bulls you're with us. Just pretend you're there on your own. But we are friends. Yes, yes, 